what is going on, everybody? Hello. It is Pickup Hunters here, and welcome back to Ace and Turney Investigations. When we left Ace off. Ace and Turney. <laughs> I thought I said Ace Attorney. You did, but it was uh, like, it, you seem like I, you stuttered I, I, a little bit. Oh, uh, listen. It's, you're, you're, I'm still, still, you're still used to saying Phoenix exactly. Wright. Exactly. I have to actively say not Phoenix Wright, not Phoenix Wright, not Phoenix Wright. <laughs> Ace Attorney Investigations. When we left off. We got Mr. Portsman over here. He's being a freak, trying to fly away, trying to take control of the scene of the crime and accuse every single person the sight aside from himself. Because, like, the, the, the <laughs> flapping, like, list, it sounds like a sound effect for a bird in, a, like, a little, you know, in, like, something from RPG Maker. Just, <laughs> yeah. just listen. Oh, I know. <laughs> it's just what it, yes. it's like something's flying away on the screen, you know? Yes. <laughs> so when we left off here, I see that says uh, her intent from the messed up shelves and the wiped down safe, I'd say thievery. But I was just realizing. What? That when it comes to the safe, it's a secret safe and only prosecutors know of oh, them. Oh, yeah. So how would she know? Because she's a security guard. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Do you wish to continue insisting that Miss Bird was set on stealing something? Why well, that is the truth after all! Uh, what was the- I don't know. <laughs> this is my allergy that we come to the whole theory for conclusion anyway! That may be, but you must also be aware of the fact that the safe is a secret safe. The existence of which is only private to prosecutors. Privy. <laughs> Privy to prosecutors. Oh! I find it a little hard to believe that a hidden safe was a part of her cunning plan. Oh, he's sweating. But she could have found it by accident when she was turning everything else upside down. I highly doubt that. I'd say the culprit knew exactly what they were looking for. After all, only the bookshelf and the safe were targeted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, even I didn't know about the safe, pal. And that means there's no way Maggie could know about it either. Then are you proposing that the killer is a prosecutor? Interesting conclusion. It's definitely looking more and more probable. He just pointed suspicion toward himself. Yeah. What's wrong, prosecutor? Prosecutor. Yeah. Do you have a different suspect in mind now? I, 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 guess this is why. Why am I shoot? But what's with the angry face all of a sudden, pal? It's, uh, it's all my fault. What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> it's Jim. He knew up at the existence of the secret safes. What did you just say? We were partners like in several conjoined twins. That's why I told him. I filled him in on the secret safes. Then that means... Yeah, I know. I only just told him to. At least it was wrong of me to tell him. I still can't quite believe it, but the thief who broke into your room was probably Jim. Jim! <laughs> now he's claiming that the victim was the thief. And you were simply trying to stop him, weren't you? Miss Maggie Bird. Excuse me? Uh, 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 I mean, you are a security guard, right? That's your job. But killing is going a bit too far even for your risky profession. What the? Are you still accusing Maggie of the murder? Yes and no. I mean, she had stumbled upon Jim, who had probably drawn his gun. I get it. It was self-defense, wasn't it? Uh, no, I, I couldn't. I could never do something like that. Not even as a security guard, sir. Plus, <laughs> even if he was the thief, he wouldn't have known to get a key to this office. Which is why I had to steal it, wouldn't you say? It was Jim who stole the master key. The, ah! <laughs> God. Pretty impossible for a supposed stolen key to be here with us unless... Well, unless you retrieved it from Jim after you killed him. <sighs> Mr. Portsman, are you honestly accusing your own partner of being a thief? I don't want to admit it, but he's the only way for everything else to make sense. Has he no honor? No. No, I think we're guy. done here. The investigation waits for no man. Would you people be so kind as to see yourselves out? You can't kick us out, this is Mr. Edgeworth's office. No, but I'm the one who's been assigned to this case. You all suspects the varying degrees and therefore I'll let run this show. <sighs> Listen, pal, how many times <laughs> do I have to say this? Maggie can't be the culprit. Detective Gumshoe, calm yourself. <laughs> but sir. It almost looks like he's <laughs> going like this. <laughs> calm. Yeah. Just like touching his shoulder, calm. We have no choice but to, to accommodate his request. For now. Ha <laughs> ha! Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. At last one of you understands. Now then, if you could remove yourself from my crime scene, I'd be most grateful. <laughs> Mark my words, Mr. Portsman. We will meet again. If that's a formal request from the legendary prosecutor himself, then I suppose so. 
Chef, don't disappoint me, you here. Jesus. To be continued. I can tell you're reading his lines really fast because instead of saying at least one of you understands, you said at last one of you understands. Yeah, it's still <laughs> close enough. Because you're just... <laughs> his voice has to be aggressively <laughs> hyper, which means I have to go aggressively hyper. But, which is why I try and add in some little pauses in there stuff like William Shatner. Hello! There for money! Okay. Oh my anyway, this person is building 12th floor hallway. What is with that prosecutor? I can't believe how rude he was. It was unbelievable. <laughs> Please maintain your professionalism, detective. I'm gonna find some real side evidence to prove Maggie's innocence. You'll see, sir. But we've been kicked out of the crime scene, sir. D true. So then what now? That's you. Oh, that's me. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> Looks like my life's fallen into yet another tra another gigantic ditch. <laughs> Not this. Er, no, I was, I was, I was about to say, and then I was like, why would he use the word despair? Gumshoe doesn't know what despair means. <laughs> he lives it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do not despair, Miss Bird. We can overcome this as well. There are many other places and things we should be looking point, into point, anyway. Point, point. Uh, really, sir? For example, More this pointing. hallway. <laughs> More pointing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The linchpin of this argument against Miss Bird is related to the master key. In that, in that case, this hallway is the perfect place to look for more information. Regarding the mystery surrounding my door. Being an investigation. Alright, so uh, let's take okay. a look at my door. Office. I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking nook and cranny. Oh, okay. My door number, 1202. 1202. These four numbers on a number plate alone proclaim this to be my office. Whoops. Hey, these number plates slide right out, sir. They have to be able to take the plate off when a room becomes vacant, you know. Although, the idea that they could also be so easily removed is kind of... Hmm. It's not my room at all. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Examine this. A minimalist yet classy door made of top quality wood. It's sternly made, making it nearly impossible to break in by force. It's almost... Majestic, majestic. sir. I wish you could be as stately as... I wish I could be as stately as this door. <laughs> Only Gumshoe would praise a door as something greater than himself. <laughs> uh, being a detective has its own rewards and a certain virtuous value, I think. If you love to your full potential, that's a poignant trait that anyone can admire. I see, see, a saying, sir, that me, be, me is the best thing I can do for everyone? Uh. Right. <laughs> it's just right. That long pause wasn't exactly reassuring, sir. It, it wasn't reassuring, Gumshoe. <laughs> the doorknob! I don't see any signs of well, forced Maggie's entry. Maggie's just like, <laughs> do they talk to each other like this all the time? All the time. <laughs> and, a, and according to the god, <laughs> no signs of the lock was picked either, sir. Many of the door really was open with a key. Hmm. Did you happen to ask if any prints were lifted from the doorknob? I paint the doorknob's clean as a whistle. Wiped, they think. Wherever the thief is, they did a good job not leaving any clues behind. Is there anything else that I can really pinpoint? Because I was trying to go for it because we got the door. Mm -hmm. We've got the knob. We've got the number plate. Wait. Is there something else to switch to? No. So we got the number plate. And then... Oh, it's just that being yeah. that. And then I did that. So I guess that's all for the door. Hmm. Did you... You did the knob, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. That was when they were talking about uh, no forced entry or anything. A basketball... Why is there a basketball... Interesting office. Can we shoot a hoop? <laughs> what is a basketball doing here? That's Mr. Portsman's prized possession, sir. Let's take it. I heard he, I heard he also plays soccer, dodgeball, and even tennis. And not a single one of those sports is suitable to be played in the hallway. I was going to say, this is a freaking hallway. <laughs> interesting. Interesting. Another <gasps> office. Look who oh it is. Oh, my God. I'll talk to you in a He's second. He's doing the head <laughs> tap thing. <laughs> yeah. This office. I can hear his voice in my head. Um, 1203, 1203. Hey, Maggie, whose room is this again? It's Mr. Portman, sir. So he's my new neighbor, I see. I suppose he moved in while I was away overseas. Hey, pal, you want to talk? <laughs> it looks like you're in quite the pinch, Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, God. <laughs> to be sure, murder within the walls of the prosecutor's office is no trifling matter. We must find, apprehend, and punish the killer accordingly post-haste. Sounds like a messy case you got on your hands. If you feel lost and need some advice, my door is always open. <laughs> Gracious, I'll keep your offer in mind. 
Don't bow to the likes of him, Edgeworth. Who is this guy again? <laughs> <laughs> Officer, what do you have for oh me? Oh my god! Oh, just, Officer, what do you have for me? <laughs> just like right yeah. up in his face. I am right up in his right face. Up in his face. Just, we are. What do you have for me? We are merged. We are conjoined <laughs> twins at this point. <laughs> is everything all right? <laughs> you can be the officer. <laughs> Yes, sir, if you must know, I weighed myself this morning, and I'm finally at 154 pounds. Congratulations, <laughs> stop, but I was asking Stop you. rubbing my chest, <laughs> prosecutor, please. It's more like he's, it's almost at the point where he's rubbing his arm just, just up and down his arm. Like, hey, hey, buddy, he's, it's going to be okay. He's freaking flirting with this. <laughs> it's like, listen, congratulations, you finally met my standards now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Congratulations, but I was asking about this hallway in this room. <laughs> oh, everything's okay, sir. Right? Oh, I know it is. But a word of advice. Stay focused or you may start to lose even more weight. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, it's actually hurt my head a little bit. <laughs> oh, man. That was amazing. <laughs> I will rest of the Yeah, you already said that with the door, so. Oh my god. Alright. There's a there's a there's there's a book down here. Is this the missing book? Ooh, it looks huh? like it. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh <laughs> What? <laughs> Look at the book. Oh What? The book. Zero H. Oh. <laughs> Zero H? The, I know it's hard to read the, the numbers on or the, the lettering on the book on the very top. O H. Oh, <laughs> I can't read that. It's uh, dude. All I see is a gray square. I don't see the letters in it. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> uh, isn't that the missing zero series file, sir? No doubt about it. But letters don't mark it clearly as day. There seems to be a few pages missing. Our thief took only what was necessary and left the rest behind. I couldn't find what you're talking about because all I saw was a blank square. That's I'm how sorry. bad my eyes are. We need to get, we need to get you. You need to. We need to get you new eyes. So, anyways. So, what about these zero files? What are these zero files about, sir? I guess they got so much steel in them, huh? Not particularly. It's just a collection of court case files. However, the cases in these files are not mine. Huh? Nani? They belong to the high prosecutor that used to copy my occupy my current office. I have my reasons, but let's just say I was charged with keeping them as they were. Then that means that they must have also won the files for a specific reason, right? It would seem so. One of the pages related to that case from 10 years ago are missing. I wonder why anyone care about such an old case. Hmm. Good question. My gumshoe pal. My gumshoe uh, The pal. floor. I bet the thief's not under there. <laughs> I, I guess there isn't enough space for anyone to hide under here anyway. I mean, if someone could contort themselves to fit, I'd be really impressed. Sounds to me like somebody has already tried at least once before. You mean I'd be really impressed? Shh, listen. <laughs> yes, the, 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 the bench would be really impressed. Yeah. <laughs> A well-crafted, high-quality sofa for visitors. The stitching is excellent. <laughs> Talk about a luxury waiting area. These babies are also great for napping, you know. You would sleep even out here, detective? In the hallway? Well, I don't have a house anymore since you don't pay me, so right. whenever I do, I always wind up dreaming about giving testimony up on the stand. I know ah, for some the reason he days. really loves doing that. <laughs> I don't know why. But it always ends the same way. Me getting trounced by a lawyer. Isn't that awful? <laughs> Maybe I should give it a try sometime. To envision myself winning, naturally. <laughs> Jesus. Way to go, Edgeworth. Way to go. Oh, so my God. that's everything. Now, I don't think I can, because the organizer is just all my evidence, and logic is just logic. I can't tie that to anything that I have, so. No. Okay, so I don't think there's anything else that I have over here, because I can't check out, this is all the space that I have. That's mine. I can try and talk to Maggie, I suppose. Hey there. I was wondering if I may speak with you for a bit concerning this case. I've always been a big fan of the courtroom, but this... This is like a dream. A dream where I'm being cross-examined by THE Miles Edgeworth. I can't let this chance pass me by. I must remember to ask her about the master key. I should jog her memory by showing my notes to her through the present button. Just look at her face. Hey, how do I... Whoa, what is the present button actually going to... Because that's the... 
Wait, what is the present button right now? X? X. Okay. Master key. Present it. So when did you discover that the master key was missing? By the time I realized it, I think it was around 1 a.m., sir. And I noticed it was back at around... I noticed it was back at around 2.30 a.m. It was just sitting there on the ledge where the security room's reception window is. But I'm sure that between those two times, it was not just gone, but stolen, sir. Okay, we got times on there. Cool, cool, cool beans. Why is such an important key stored in such an insecure place? Uh, it's not like that, sir. We always keep the key further inside the room, farther away from the window. <laughs> always, you say? Except for this time, correct? Well, I admit that it was a bit careless, but I had my reasons. I left it out because I was sort of using it at the time. It was after I'd used it that I left it sitting out on the ledge. She used the master key? For what? I have a theory. And why would you leave it on the ledge like that? I have a theory. I have oh a theory. Boy. It's first theory time of, oh. the, of the Edgeworth series. <laughs> the Edgeworth the theory theories. theory time. Here we go. Okay. So, what I'm thinking, even though I don't know why they would have to steal the you master have, key. Like, oh, sorry, but you should have like a little splash screen when you have theories. Or have my <laughs> own theory music. Just yeah. cut out the music and have my own <laughs> little dun, 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 my own dun, dun, theme dun, dun. that goes in the background. <laughs> but, because we know from the number plate on the door that we talked about the fact that it's easily interchangeable. My thought is is that we're going to say use the master key and Portsworth probably asked her to go to his office. Probably say like, oh, I lost my key. Can you unlock my office? But what he did is he switched the numbers on our doors mm. so that she would unlock Edgeworth's office and be like, thanks. And then he could go in there. Either him or it could have also been potentially uh, the other detective, the victim. Because I still don't know why... The detective was in the room also because yeah. that's also kind of question there but i think they pr one of them switched the number plates on the doors and had maggie use the key to open that door thinking it was portsman's office when it was actually address's office yeah and that's how they got it open but i still don't know why they had to steal it afterwards but that's what we got to figure out so like the numbers the were for sure switched, otherwise they wouldn't have talked yeah, about it. Yeah, that would have been a very random fact. And no. also Edward being like, you know, I have to look at every nook and cranny. So first the victim. Have you ever met the victim before? Well, I've seen him a couple of times before when I had to go to Mr. Portman's office. I don't know why I stopped for a second. <laughs> You're fine. Mr. Faith was always playing basketball with Mr. Portsman, sir. That sounds like fun just once I'd have loved to play with them. It sounds fun, but the only person ever taking a shot was Mr. Portsman. All Mr. Faith ever did was pass him the ball, sir. Jesus. <laughs> On second thought, I don't think I'd have fit in all that well with them. <laughs> now, use the master key, you say? What did you mean by you used the master key? Oh, I had to use it to open the door for this prosecutor who had forgotten his key. <laughs> Isn't that what you just said? That's what I said. <laughs> I mean, it's my job as a security guard, right? Ah! What is it? That's right! I just remembered! The prosecutor who forgot his key! It was Mr. Portman, sir! <laughs> Thank you very much! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'll be here applause, all- Applause! Applause! All, all eternity! Applause! <laughs> what? Please tell me more, Miss Bird, quickly. Forgetful, Mr. Port- Oh, no! Ah, oh, fuck! Ah, uh. oh, shit! Ah, oh, shit! They moved- They moved where my cursor was. Yeah, I get it. Your hat. It's cool. There we go. Your hat does ha is pretty cool with that feather in. Now, gotta go down yeah. too. It doesn't save your place on here, so I thought it was gonna be there going down one, but it took me back to the top, so. Forgetful Mr. Portsman. It was around 12 a.m. Mr. Portsman had forgotten his office key, so we came down to security, sir. And that's when you loaned the master key to him? No way! It's against regulations to loan the master key out to anyone. I walked with Mr. Portsman to his office and opened the door for him personally, sir. I see. And then, what happened after that? Well, he called for me to come up, come close up his, come close up his office as he was leaving to go home. That was around 1.30 a.m., I think. So in summary, for the sake of one forgetful prosecutor, you used the master key twice tonight. Hmm. hmm. Okay, so here's, talk about suspicious. I think the final way it probably went is that he probably went into Edgeworth's office mm -hmm. and did what he needed to do, but then Detective Faith, our victim, 
probably, because he's close to him, knows something was up. So he stole the key to try and see what just happened. Mm. But then Porcelain probably saw him and was like, oh shit. Yeah. And followed him in, killed him knowing he was going to reveal what happened. And then he was like, whoops. So. Jim. <laughs> Jim. <laughs> I doubt you can say that you've never left your keys at home, detective. <laughs> I think this calls for a thorough examination of Mr. Portsman's door. <laughs> Time to go to his door after we talk to Maggie Bird about Maggie Bird. Hey. Yeah. Miss Maggie Bird, correct? I think that you're an acquaintance of the detective. She was under my supervision back when she was still in the force, sir. One day she got caught up in a murder and yep. things started going downhill, so she quit. I remember that. Yep. But I will lock to Detective Gumshoe for introducing me, introducing me to my current employer. Or so I thought until a few hours ago. Right before I was about to clock out for the night. You got caught up in this whirlwind of a case, correct? Don't worry, my whole life has been nothing but a whirlwind of bad luck and failures. We know. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Here we go. Since I was Here six months old when I fell from the ninth floor of my apartment building, I've been hit by all sorts of vehicles, gotten sick from all sorts of foods, failed at almost every test I've taken, experienced almost every kind of disaster, and now I even managed to be named a criminal just when I've become a security guard. That's a lot to go through in one lifetime. My life's not even over yet! <laughs> I know, and just when I thought I had finally found my happiness, <laughs> I wound up getting you and Detective Gumshoe involved in my bad luck. You don't need to worry about me, Miss Bird. Nor do you need to worry about yourself. I will solve this case and prove your innocence. I'll ask in return for your cooperation. Yes, sir, Mr. Edgeworth, you can count on me. I'll do all I can to help. She's smitten. <laughs> She's like, oh my is god. It, is it everyone? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's examine his door. That officer is questioning himself right now. Yeah. He's just I like, won't rest. That felt different. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Same line as always. All I right. still can't get over that. You're the having fun with that. <laughs> oh. Okay. Numbers. Room 1203. I take it this is Mr. Portsman's office. Yeah, you can't mistake it because of that basketball hoop, sir. Oh, that reminds me. Mr. Portsman had actually wanted room 1202 really badly. Since, you, since you're already occupying it, Mr. Edgeworth, we put him next door, sir. <laughs> I wonder if he wanted it for certain files. <laughs> so why was Mr. Portsman so particular about getting room 1202? I'm not sure, but I bet it's because of something like his birthday is December 2nd. Bullshit. <laughs> Yup, that's gotta be it. I can't think of any other reason why. Oh my god. <laughs> I can think of at least three. Why am I even wasting my time thinking about this? <laughs> bah! <laughs> Alright, the doorknob? The door's locked tight. <laughs> I bet the old credit card trick wouldn't work here. I missed Edgeworth. Oh my god. This is the office of a high prosecutor detective. These doors would be pretty ineffective if the average cat bird would get through them. <laughs> so I guess it's only a great cat bird to get in. That must be who our culprit is. Oh my god. Might advise you to turn that conclusion to whatever pawn shop you bought it from. <laughs> Damn. Jesus Christ. And our frame. The, oh, jeez, the, the, <laughs> the, 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 the shade is back. For real. A minimalist at classy door Brought made of to you top by Edgeworth. <laughs> it's kind of majestic too, if it's in the name of his prosecutor's office. You must have person seem dignified, just because he works behind one of these. <laughs> nonsense, a man doesn't become more or less di dignified because of where he works. At well, least he still seems more dignified than Mr. Payne. <laughs> Mr. Payne? I suppose a custodial work can also be dignified. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus Christ. Talk about the trash, man. <laughs> Hi, um. Okay, maybe we'll look at the, uh... Did he just call him garbage? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> <laughs> it's, Mr. Por er, it's Mr. Portman's personal basketball hoop. I can't believe he just... Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, Hang on. Mm -hmm. That was Apollo Reset for a second. <laughs> Reset. <laughs> so many unnormal voices. Can't believe he put something like this in the hallway of a prosecutor's office. But you know it's actually pretty useful, sir. I haven't gotten lost trying to get in the office since it's been here. How long have I had the same office and yet you still managed to get lost? Huh. I just love for Apollo to just come out of nowhere, even though he doesn't even exist yet. Yeah. In this series of... Like, like, he exists, but you know you know what I mean. Yeah. His game hmm. hasn't shown up yet, and he's just like... <laughs> he just okay. pops in the corner, You've... like, who are you? And then he goes... You've gone over everything. Huh. I don't know what else I can do. Um, because I mean, we already examined the hoop. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. I already did this. Oh, wait, I thought we talked about the hoop. Yeah. Okay, I guess it's... Hey, didn't this used to be just outside next to the building a long time ago? Or was it the only the basketball I looked at? Maybe that's... It, it. was just the basketball. So when and why was it moved indoors? I don't remember exactly, but I saw one of the officers drag it up here recently. Drag it? Ugh. I heard that it wouldn't fit in the elevator, so the poor guy had to bring it in themselves. All the way up to the 12th floor? Oh my god. Okay, well that's all I got on that one. Okay. And I don't suppose we're going to say anything new about my number, but... It never hurts to take another look. Ain't anything about my number at all? Anything? Probably not. Oh, dude, this four nope. numbers of play a day, although, yeah, yeah, it could be easily moved. Okay. Is there anything Gumshoe, you yeah. I'm gonna talk to you, pal. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, anything of interest? To Gumshoe, you look rather intrigued by something. Care to share? Uh, it's nothing, but I noticed that Mr. Portsman calls his part in the gym. Yeah. A detective in that Sunday night drama, all my cops is named Jim, too. I bet one of them is a big fan of that show. You seem to want uh. something about it yourself. I right, take it you watch it, too. Of course, the tight bond of friendship between Prescott and Detective is great, sir. But it's nothing compared to the super strong friendship we have. <laughs> friendship, Detective? I think I'm mistaking it with pity. Oh, my God! And I could just say that, sir. After all we've been through, too. <laughs> Yo! God damn. That's a punch in the gut. For with real. With words. Look at his poor face. <laughs> real. About Miss Bird. No way she's the killer. Please don't tell me you're buying to that accusation, sir. Rest assured, I think she's innocent. However, I need to ask her a few things regarding her security guard position. But if you're only asking, that's okay. Just stand next to her and then touch the talk button. Okay. Then you can talk about whatever topic you pick. When you want to ask her about evidence, all you have to do is present it. After you choose what to show her, press the okay, yeah, then nah, nah, hey, I'm a tutorial all of a sudden. Gee whiz, everyone's showing up different <laughs> people, different things. Whiz. You'd be surprised what they say. Thank you for the explanation, though. I don't recall asking for one. Uh, oh. Just you know, sir, so you can show me evidence in the same way, too. I believe it's time to get down to business and ask some questions of Miss Bird. Let's get down to Ignore business. Ignore it again. <laughs> okay, so I can present him things, which I might have to, because I've really run out of. I don't really have anything that can tie in logic wise. Can mm -hmm. I? Well, I have a couple of new things here. Because we have the mesh key was stolen at 1 a.m. until 2.30, and the key was, was not from his department's office at 12 to 1.30. Huh. Hmm. Let me see if I can Do combine you connect these two. Those, to connect those two? Yeah. I'm going to see if I can. If not, it's no biggie. Yay! Oh, I can. Okay. Miss Bird, I'm afraid there's a flaw in your story. What? No way, pal. I mean, sir. <laughs> You've been around Gumshoe too long. You need to stop. You said that you locked up Mr. Portman's office at around 1.30 a.m., correct? Having the master key had already been stolen at that time. Wow. Nothing gets by you, Mr. Edgeworth. You saw that contradiction like a pro. I had totally forgot all about that, but thanks to you, I remember it now. Good. Good. <laughs> You're right. It was around that very time that I realized the master key was missing. And... Well, I'm a security guard, sir. I couldn't just admit to losing the master key, could I? So I... I pretended to lock up his room, sir. You... pretended? Yeah, I used my house key and made it look like I was locking up, sir. So in actuality, you never did relock the door then? Well, I thought that maybe I could go lock it after I found the key. Come to think of it, I guess the door still hasn't been locked properly. Um, but his door is locked. Tight yeah. dog. Thank you for that information. I'm now going to go redo this because I'll just be like, examine. Uh, every special thing cranny. Yeah, I get it. But all of a sudden, and I can deduce. I can actually probably already do that. Uh, X? Yeah, deduce the doorknob. Yep. Is this about someone connected to the evidence I hold? Uh, the well, key? which one exactly will it be? Uh, so she could not lock it. Yeah. It's because they were switched. Yep. There's a contradiction here between reality and the evidence. If what Mrs. Bird had said is true, then why is this door locked tight? Huh? You know you're right. Because no one ever went in it. <laughs> Mrs. Bird, are you sure you didn't relock this door? I am certain of it, sir. And I don't think Mr. Portsman noticed it himself that I hadn't. Which means... What, sir? Did the means that he actually does have the key to his office... Or that the door Miss Bird opened wasn't this one at all, but a completely different one. She opened a different door? But how can you prove that? 
There's an easy way to find out. All we need to do is... Ooh, we need to examine these. Prints on the number yep, plate. Yep, yep, yep. The prints on the number plate that will tell us all that we need to know. Everything? Really? Like what, sir? Like, well, for example, then such as... Oh. oh, okay, well, never mind. Well, we know for sure that Addictive Gumshoe's dinner, dinner will only consist of instant noodles. Oh, no, the noodles! <laughs> wow, that was amazing, sir. How'd you know? <laughs> <laughs> was that supposed to be a joke to cheer me up, Mr. Edgeworth? Y y yes, that's it. Now then, we should get back to doing what we need to, and that is... We need to examine these. And we will examine the correct thing, apparently, next time. <laughs> Maybe we're ahead of ourselves again. I think so. I need to, I need to back my thinking we're up a little bit. We're always ahead of ourselves. I need to stop being so intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the logic. <laughs> God damn it.